Have you wanted to start your own business or turn your hobby into a job and make some money out of it, but you felt too scared, confused, worried, frazzled, been holding out on doing it? Then this could be the video for you. Hello everyone, my name is Hibber, and to those that don't know me or if it's the first time you've been on my channel, I am a DIY YouTuber, but also I add a bit of lifestyle and a pop of fashion as well. And we're all about self-love, high vibes, self-care over here. So today I wanted to talk to you about turning your hobby into a business. Why am I talking about this specifically? Well, I've actually been self-employed most of my life other than three years when I was a stylist and that was super fun. I really, really wanted to do that job, but my natural nature is to sway towards being self-employed. Being self-employed is literally second nature to me and by, by that I mean making money on my own has been second nature to me, doing freelance work, working for myself, selling online. And so I thought I would just share some basic, easy, tangible things for you guys to do if you're really scared to start and to help you just get started now so you can make some money ASAP, you know? Try and make your first sale before 2021. We've got a few months left. It's the end of October right now. Firstly, I want to say that it's so important to set that foundation before you get started, that foundation of your mental, physical health and every everything just everything about your self-help, self-love. And so I've actually done a Raise Your Vibration video and I'll link that up. So you can watch that and it gives you some e quick and easy ways to raise your vibration so that you just have a healthier foundation to work off of. If you're really feeling emotionally strained, you may just stress yourself out more if you pressure yourself into starting a business. So I think that's a great start. Okay, so once you've kind of Zend yourself out a little bit, maybe done a bit of meditation, gone for a walk, had a drink of water, sit yourself down and really have a think of what it is that you enjoy. Because a business will not last if you don't enjoy it. You may make it last for six months, you may make it last for a year. In my case, I made a business, my first business last for three years and it crashed and burned. So the sooner you learn what you like, the better, so that you make less mistakes. So, first and foremost, you could start, if you're a creative like me, because this is what I'm speaking about, I'm speaking about my experience and what works for me. If you are a creative, you could literally just start up an Etsy shop, for example, today. You don't have to think of what about a website? What about professional photography? What about everything? Just start an Etsy shop, um, sign up, and then think of what products. Is it jewelry? Is it embroidery? Is it painting? Um, these are just more things that I'm more used to, like fashion design, I sew clothes and um, I also sell like healing crystals and things. So you have to think initially, what is it that you like? Um, what kind of, if you sit there, kind of excites you, you know? Um, I was speaking to my friend today and she was telling me a million ideas and I said to her, don't think of all the ideas that you think other people are doing or other people are making money because at the end of the day, if it's just about money, there's no longevity in that, there's no happy in, happiness in that and people can probably see that you're inauthentic and therefore you may not achieve what you want to achieve and I've learned the hard way, I will talk about that in another video. So I just think it needs to be start, started with enjoyment, happiness, enjoyment. What is it you really like to do? So let's say that you want to start a jewellery brand, for example. There are actual, like, any websites, like even eBay and Amazon and if you just Google, or you can just go to, like, haberdashery stores which sell jewellery supplies, and you can buy very basic things. You could buy the chain for something. I mean, even, I know I didn't make this, but I actually bought these chains, they're silver-plated, and I added pendants. That alone can be sold on your shop, you know, something as simple as that. So just doing a bit of research, Googling where you can source things, seeing where you can, um, even though like at the start you shouldn't buy a lot of products, like you can probably start a shop with 25 pounds to be honest with you. Um, you should look at options where if you did need to get more product, can you get a discount with bulk? So for me, with my business, um, my suppliers give me a discount because it's wholesale pricing because I order in bulk, which is great, but you don't need to think about that right now, just start small. Um, another example is I made some very easy money when I was doing watercolor moons on paper. So I found this like a deal on um, 
Arteza, I think it's called, um, art website, and they were doing like a big discount deal. So I bought a multi pack of watercolor notepads, and then I bought literally just one little Winsor and Newton watercolor tray, and I made sales so quickly. You just take pretty pictures of your little moon paintings, and upload it onto your Etsy and I think it's like 10 cents or something per listing and I just feel like in the grand scheme of things of life 10 cents is nothing and I've actually had one or two people be like oh it's 10 cents to do a listing if you can afford a coffee that's probably like 200 listings on Etsy so I don't think there's any excuses um, to not spend that money for your potential future <laughs> you know what I mean like your potential future growth and then Etsy does take a commission afterwards. I think it's ten percent, and then ten um, percent, and then there might be some sort of card fees and things. But you can just incorporate the ten um, percent into the price of the. Let's say you're selling a five pound necklace, then you just add fifty p on, and then that covers the cost of um, the amount that Etsy take anyway. So that works really well. Um, I'm going at a million miles per hour, but I just really want someone to just do it. Just start their their dreams, you know? Um, so for me, the watercolors really worked. If you have no clue how to watercolor, but you think actually that'd be quite a cool idea, especially because the cost price is so cheap and you might actually be able to make quick money. Um, I actually got Skillshare from other YouTubers. I'm not promoting Skillshare because I haven't been approached by them, but I just got Skillshare from them and you can look up videos on there, but actually there's free YouTube tutorials and on Pinterest, Pinterest is super useful for easy watercolor inspo. And then, even on Etsy, it gives the customization option. So you can write people's names on the painting. That's enough incentive for them to want to buy it from you. If they're looking for a birthday present and you can write the person's name on it, then that's just, that's just going to be a selling point. Um, to get your first few sales, I mean, you could make your prices a little bit lower just for the first few sales, just so you can get good reviews. Um, but... You do want to get a few sales in so that you can get reviews and you make sure you message them and ask them for the reviews. And same with making your product for packaging. Just go on Pinterest and YouTube and find cheap, easy, just look for cheap and easy ways to package. So my camera cut out, so I don't remember where I got up to, but I was saying, um, I don't know what I was saying. But yeah, so basically we've cu covered Etsy. Um, I think you should, it's better just to start off with something like that if it's your first business than to start your own website. It's just so much pressure. You need to do everything step by step. And then um, you just go to the post office and you post it and you just start off with like a few sales and just dip your toe in and see how it goes. And then the other option is Depops for free, but I do Depop and I've been there since day one and day one it was super, super, super easy to make sales. I'll show you my Depop. I, ha I had about 10,000 followers. Now I have less because I haven't, I kind of gave up on my fashion brand, but I will somehow show you my Depop so you can see it was for my fashion brand. Now I do more of the self care stuff. I have my own website for my subscription boxes, but I do have an Etsy as well, but I've been doing self-employed stuff for years. I'm much older than I look, I think. Well, I hope I am because I like looking young. I'm actually 32 years old, so I've had a lot of life experience and I'm currently living, you know, in my beautiful flat in central London and I have my own studio and it's been a lot of hard work. And I feel like I just wanna do like another video on this so I can talk about the hard work, I can talk about the mistakes, I can talk about everything. Um, this is more of an intro video so that I don't go on and I just want to like dip my toe in and see what people think. But you can make money so, so, so quickly. I mean, people are looking for Christmas presents. Get your stuff uploaded before, but like in the first week of November, just little things. Like even like I said, with a 25 pound budget, you can get watercolors, um, Windsor and Newton watercolors on eBay for about 10 pounds, brand new. And then the notepads about 15 pounds. Get painting, do some free courses, just, and then upload one at a time and just do, um, I'd say a white backdrop for everything because I'm like the busiest, messiest mind in the world. And it took me like years of just busy photography to finally just accept that I need a white background. So I just, I even like hang up, um, stock on the hook there just with my plain wall. And then you can add like a plant, a pop of a plant on the side. 
and that's it just start playing start playing step by step start simple start playing start with a few items and then when you see what sells you can make more of that item you can take pre-orders you can message people and say it's going to take me a week to do this because you can use their money to buy like more stock um so there's so many different options i hope this makes sense but i just i just wanted to i'm kind to be honest with you i'm really sick of this lighting <laughs> It's pitch black at 5pm in London and I've just got these like big fake lights shining into my eyeballs. So I'm going to leave it at that just basically in conclusion. Just figure out what you like, figure out what you enjoy, try and set a chunk of time to do it. Maybe just don't hang out with your friends or don't watch some Netflix or whatever and just figure out what it is you like and don't stress out. Have fun with it. Don't lead with money, lead with fun. Okay? And start small. One Etsy shop, one Depop shop. Etsy, I do feel like, is a good start. And then just have faith in yourself. Because if your heart and your instinct is telling you to do this, it's telling you to do this for a reason. So you might do amazing things with whatever you choose to do. So good luck with that. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if this has helped you at all or if it's completely confused you. Because I really just wanted to say something about it because it's been on my mind for a long time and I want you guys to be self-employed so that you're not the one there's so many people that are stressed in their job or stressed looking for jobs I want you to be able to rely on yourself yes so um have a lovely day week year month whenever you're looking at this <laughs> night um and I will see you at my next video